are super villains or face the might of Cyber Hank and his trusty sidekick? Sticky Ginger! <laughs> He's our enemy, the Eliminator. <laughs> we have to stop him before he inflates the whole world. Time to download Justice. No! Put down the watermelon and help me with this. Got no time, Ben. Having a picnic with Angela this afternoon, huh? You'll have plenty of time when you help me complete the time slower. Angela's at the store right now picking out our grapes. This picnic is on. Stupid Tom, stupid the balloon is making his move. Enter observation mode. <laughs> What's this doing here? Cyber Sticky Go Go! Ah! Get off me! Stop it! Huh? You know, Ben, no matter how evil he was, that balloon deserved a trial. Citizen, it is our sworn duty to be a firewall between you and crime. Don't be a firewall to me. Play your game somewhere else. Mighty misunderstanding, Ben. Superheroing? <gasps> is it a game? It's big, grown-up stuff. Huh? Toys! Don't touch that. It's my fail box where I put all my inventions that don't work. The Yuck Monica has lousy battery life. Now, please, stop touching. And what's this? Robot bookers? I was trying to improve upon glue. I failed. So that only sticks to things if you throw it. Oh, and this could be Cyber Hank's Cyber Saber. It's just a flashlight that's way too bright. Don't point it at me. Guys, go away. I need to work on my time slower. Yeah, but you're the only one around who needs to be kept safe from crime. That's not true. There are lots of other citizens to save. Like a, like a, <laughs> Tom and Angela. I hear their picnic is in peril. A perilous picnic? That doesn't sound very dangerous. That's what the bad guys want you to think. That logic computes. We've got to save Tom and Angela. Okay, but we have to take the fail box. <laughs> Fine, just go. Save somebody else. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but I heard that soon we'll have plenty of time for even more of these picnics. Oh, nice. Is Ben making a time slowing machine? Mm hmm. <laughs> Bug detected. That villainous lie is about to destroy Angela's cupcake. Dastardly dessert. Let's teach that pie to buzz off. Hey! Uh! Download this scoundrel! <laughs> you don't need to fight the fly, guys. Hmm. Flies are part of picnics, like ants and sunburns in weird places. But Ben told us to protect you because you were in danger. So, Ben put you up to this, huh? Yeah, good thing. Is it really a good thing? What do you guys know about supervillain mad scientists? <gasps> Oh, yeah. A mad scientist would definitely be someone two brave superheroes would want to battle. But the only mad scientist we know is Ben. Ben's not doing anything evil. He's just making some invention to control time. But he could use that power to rob banks. <gasps> You're right. Ben fooled us as if we were fools. Not for long. Cyber Hank and Sticky Ginger to the rescue! <laughs> Hold it right there, Dr. Mm, Slowpoke. Dr. Slowpoke, that's a good name. I thought I pushed you off onto Tom and Angela. G go back outside. I'm busy. Your mind games won't work on us, Dr. Slowpoke. The time has come to stop you from stopping time. Whoa! What are you talking about? The time slower is a miraculous, world-improving invention. <laughs> world-improving? Doesn't sound evil. Not sounding evil is an obvious supervillain trick. Don't fall for it, Cyber Egg. Excellent point, Sticky Ginger. The one thing that doesn't stick to you is lies. Step away from the time slower, Dr. Slowpoke. Stop calling me that. Cyber Sticky, get the 
Super villain! Oh. I'm not a super villain! Oh. <laughs> well, how about that? It works! Hoo hoo! <laughs> to take such extreme measures, but I need to finish my work. I hope you don't mind hanging around until I'm done. <laughs> We're having a great time. This is a lot more fun than playing superheroes like Hank and Ginger, right? <laughs> It does not sound like they're having a good time in there, does it? No, not one bit. Mm. I kind of want to be a superhero, too. Me, too! Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Hmm. Yes, we can get costumes from here. Woo! Let's go fight evil! <laughs> Stop that mumbling! It's making it very hard to get into my workflow. Never stop, Dr. Slowpoke. Not until you've been vanquished. I am not a supervillain. Besides, who's going to vanquish me? You guys are all tied up. <laughs> Man, I am on today. Huh? Yeah. Hank, Ginger, what happened? You were right about Dr. Slowpoke. He wants to freeze us all in time. That's not what I'm doing. And who are you two supposed to be anyway? Well, <clears throat> I'm the dynamic diva, fighting evil with the power of song. And I'm Tom Man. Oh, uh, I'm Tom Guy. Wait, okay, look, I didn't come up with a cool superhero name yet, but I will, I promise. Tom Guy, shh. The point is, why are Hank and Ginger tied up? Because I no longer have time for any more interruptions. And unfortunately for you guys, you are interrupting me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Vanishing villains! Where did Ben go? I'm right here. I stopped time so I could change into this bad guy costume. It just happens to look good on me. And if you must know, I also had a snack and took a little nap. Ben's all villain now, but it's a good thing we have a super villain's one weakness, a superhero team! Yeah! How dare you all distract me from my work! Get the time slower! Don't worry, Sticky Ginger. <laughs> Attack now. <laughs> He's using his helmet against us. <laughs> Cover your ears, everyone. Let the diva take this first. <laughs> power supposed to be? Uh, it's the good one. You'll see soon, right after this. Enough time to end this. That's my super thing. <laughs> no! Aha! Looks like the only thing you'll be inventing now is tears, Dr. Slowpoke Crybaby! I get it! 
I got carried away, but I just wanted to finish the time slower, and then Hank and Ginger kept distracting me. Well, you have no one to blame but yourself. Mm. Oh, all right, we sent them in, but only so we could have a picnic by ourselves. <gasps> Wait a minute. This was all so you two could do your kiss barfing. Wow, classic superhero <laughs> backstab. Life is a graphic novel, I guess. <laughs> no! This machine is far too powerful to be left in your hands. Sever, Hank. We've got a town to protect. I'm with you, Sticky Ginger. Well, I wouldn't worry. They'll break that thing soon enough. been stripped of our title of friendliest town in the world. <gasps> no, that can't be right. That's right. We've been stripped of our title of friendliest town in the world. And people are wondering how the mayor let this happen. <laughs> you blew it, Tom. <laughs> Tom, you have to fix this. I can't grow up in a second best town. My standards are too high now. You won't have to because we're going to get our number one spot back. We're going to make this town the most easy to get along with and welcoming place in the world. Yes! Now let's start by... Huh? What up, new roomies? Huh? Roomies? What's going on? Uh, 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 uh. Haven't you heard the word, you nerdy nerd? I live here now. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Landlord, what is going on here? Because we do not have room for a new roommate. Of course you do. Right here. But that's our storage closet. Stop complaining. Now you get to hang out all day with the fun and crazy guy. Oh, yeah! Do the dance, MC. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> Thanks for letting me crash um... here while I'm down on my luck. Rock bottom, y'all. <laughs> You know, if I want to be the mayor of the friendliest town again, I need to lead by example. We're happy to have you, MC. Or should I say, roomie? Oh. Wow! Thanks! That means a lot! Time to housewarming p -p 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 party, y'all! <laughs> I thought you hated when things were too loud! I make an exception when a genius is practicing his craft. Oh, 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 oh yeah! Oh. Oh, 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 yeah! Ah! 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 
Focus, everyone. We'll never win back the friendliest town title if we can't come up with a plan. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but our new roommate is very distracting. And, uh, what, what if you pass a law that makes it illegal not to smile and wave at people? That would make us friendlier. Okay, make things illegal. Someone give me another one. Well, you could, uh, uh, maybe if you... Ah, I can't think anymore. I start to talk and then that... What was I saying? But, Migos, I got some great news! The mailman delivered the groovy surprise for you funky new friends! A one, a two, a one, two, three! Whoa, whoa, take five, buddy! You see, we actually just got some really sad news. Oh, no! Is everything okay? I'm afraid not. Look, we just got a call from the landlord, and apparently he needs that storage closet back right away. Oh. Um, uh, we tried to tell him about how much we liked having you here, but he said uh, you have to get your stuff out and leave. Right now. I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh, well... I knew living here wasn't ever gonna be a forever thing, you know what I'm saying? Hmm? I'll be all right, and I won't forget the time we spent together. You guys are always gonna be some of the best. Oh, hold on, my phone is ringing. Yo, MC here. Uh, I'm confused. Say that again? All I'm saying is we should surprise your new roomies with our pizza party tonight. Uh... Huh? <laughs> uh... <laughs> It's not what you think, MC. We just need to... We can explain. No, you don't need to explain. This isn't the first time this has happened. Something about me pushes people away. Sorry for annoying you with my friend... Hmm? Friendship. MC, no! Don't drop that mic! <gasps> no, 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 Oh, this is the worst I have ever felt. I keep thinking I hear his fat beats, but it's only the depressing beating of my guilty heart. We acted like the unfriendliest jerks ever. No wonder we're second place. Actually, we've dropped to third. Wait, now it's fourth and fifth. Oh. <sighs> you guys ruined the MC's life! What's wrong with you? We messed up, but only because we were trying to save our town's reputation. You're so Huh, that actually makes sense. He won't help us now. He's probably made new friends. Better friends that don't stab him in the back. No, he's not. Didn't you hear where he is? He's the book stamper at the school library. It doesn't get sadder than that. I can't watch. <laughs> Stay strong, Hank. I can fix this. Huh? Crazy bumping into you here. <clears throat> huh? Shh. Good to see you. You're looking well. Uh, hi, Tom. Welcome to the library. Let me know if you need any books stamped or, uh, you know. Okay, we treated you wrong, but now I want to help. How would you like to be the town friendliness ambassador? Nah, no thanks. I already got a job. Hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What, in this crummy place? This isn't you. Everybody loves the old MC. I don't know. I don't think that's true. My mojo is gone. I'm sorry. My no! days of being the <sighs> MC are behind me. Now I'm just Maurice Claremont. I don't know why I'm even wearing this anymore. No! Don't do it! Please! No! 
Oh, come on. Hank is reacting to something very dramatic. Stop shushing us. Shh. Huh. Shh. All that shushing almost sounds like a fresh new rhythm. Shh. Nah, Maurice, come on. Don't, don't, don't talk like that. You don't care about things like that anymore. Shh. I think I have an idea. All right, guys, let's do this. Whoa! Come on, boys. <laughs> Stop it! What are you doing to me? Showing you who you really are? <laughs> oh yeah! We're all in the library getting our study on! I knew it! You can't lose your mojo, so you have to use your mojo as the town friendliness ambassador. What do you say? I'm totally in, and I'm ready to win! I'll do, 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 do it! <laughs> And best of all, we didn't forget to tie up any loose ends. Yeah! MC, I'm ready to get party on. Where are you, favorite new tenant? So these are little robots? Cute! Cute? This is the world's most advanced anti-aging cream. <laughs> the nanobots interact with the face cells. If you put this on, it'll be like you're 15 years younger. <laughs> ha! I got all of that one! Did you guys see? I'm a slugger! Don't put ball in the house, Ginger. We're trying to get ready to meet with Autumn Summers. What? Autumn Summers? <laughs> She's the meanest lady in town. Why would you ever work with her? We don't want to, but we are really short on rent this month. That's a boring reason. It's an adult reason. We need money, or we're going to lose the garage. Hey! <gasps> Hark, fellow citizens! It'd be a surprise visit from the lord of the land. Yes, because I'll evict you. Uh, we know the rent is due, landlord. You don't need to remind us. Uh, but I want to, you know. Get my money soon or it's tick, tick, evict. <laughs> I can solve this problem without you guys being lame. I made a batch of prank juice. One sip and he'll be on the toilet for hours. And then he... <laughs> no, Ginger. <laughs> We're selling the anti-aging cream because sometimes being a grown-up means doing stuff you don't like. More like being a grown-up means being stupid. Kids rule! Sometimes being a grown-up means doing stuff you don't like. What a load of hot garbage. <sighs> I wish they weren't grown-ups. Then maybe you and me could have some real fun for once, baseball. A mess. Good thing I made a backup batch of anti-aging cream. Wait, that's the bagel spread. Boy, would that have been a wacky mix-up? Um, no, Hank. This is definitely the backup anti-aging cream. I labeled the jar with a picture of a single nanobot. See? <gasps> oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Hank, have we been eating the anti-aging cream? What? <laughs> Sorry, not sorry! I was playing a game where I was 
trying not to hit the window. And then... <gasps> I swung the most far. Yeah, but I swung it the most high. And I can swing the most cute. Yeah! That's a good one, Angela. Top like Angela. Top like Angela. They uh, do not. <laughs> no! Wish came true. Oh, I made it a wish. Me. Wishes are my favorite kind of science. Wishes aren't science. You're thinking of genies, dummy. <laughs> okay, baseball. Now I wish for wings. <laughs> nah. Maybe it's a one wish baseball. Oh, that's too bad. But don't be sad. Let's play a game. Really? You don't have work to do? Oh, let's play ball in the house. That's what you said I couldn't do. Yeah! yeah. Hello? Is someone there? <laughs> are you an invisible person? If you are, you better not tickle me. It's not fair, and you know it. <laughs> okay, Angela, your turn. Truth or dare? And since no one ever picks truth, I dare you to put your head in this bucket of words. Ooh, oh, that's gross, that's Hank. That's so barf-tastic. Angela doesn't have to do that, dare. Okay, okay, I don't dare you. I... Double dare ya! Whoa, a double dare! Now you have to do it. It's the law. <laughs> My tummy is getting hungry. Yeah. You might want to wash your wormy hands. You might want to wash your wormy face. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ginger. Cook his lunch. Me? I don't know how to cook. Why do I have Not to? Not it. Oh, man. There. Lunch. I hope you're happy. Ew, what is that? Ketchup noodles and crackers. Ew, I want cake. Well, I want cake, too. But we don't have Ginger, my ketchup noodles are touching my crackers. <laughs> Can't do food at me. I want meat. Telltale. Yeah, you did. I saw you. No problem. Take the hell out of me. Quiet. Huh? huh? I worked really hard on this meal, and you are going to eat it, and you are going to like it. Food <laughs> 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 Get out! Get out! Get out. <laughs> Because if the landlord sees this, you're gonna get evicted. That stupid grown-up stuff. Tom, hit this baseball off my head. No, you'll knock his brains out. Not if I hit the ball, I won't. Now give me that back, or I'll make a really annoying noise. No! Oh, I can do that. Supposed to be the responsible one around here? I'm the fun kid. I'm fun. I'm a kid. I take it back, okay? I wish they were grown ups again. Guess I'll get it since I do everything around here. Tom, my time is very valuable, so I won't wait for you to say hello. I have to come to our big meeting a little earlier than expected. Um, this isn't... Spare me the small talk. I'll be there in an hour. I look forward to trying that fancy scientific anti-aging cream of yours. <laughs> Ta-ta! Hmm? Anti-aging cream? Scientific? <laughs> it wasn't a wish that did this. It was Ben's stupid invention. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Anti-aged you. Uh, maybe. 
So what? So we have to make things normal before Autumn Summers gets here. Ben, you have to do science. Um. <laughs> uh, get serious and stop thinking like a kid. But we have to think like kids because the stuff in our tummies is making us kids. Hmm. <gasps> we have to think like kids. I'll be right back. This was a good plan. Celebrate being kids forever with yummy smoothies. Sure, smoothies. Also known as Ginger's special prank juice. What's prank juice? Uh oh, I need to go potty. Uh -oh. Hank? Wait, what wait, is wait, she wait. doing, Ginger? No! Hank was right. We have to think like kids. If the stuff is in your stomachs, we have to get it out. Oh, oh, wait, don't, be be don't worry, I brought oh, some flies. Summers, glad you made it. We've been busy getting everything perfect so that we can sell you our anti-aging cream. <laughs> Excellent. Let's get started with... <laughs> oh, oh my. What's that awful smell? Uh... It reeks of <laughs> th th children. Oh, I don't smell anything. <gasps> no, Ow! no, come on. You can't do this to us. <sighs> you messed up your meeting. How are you going to pay the rent? Excellent question you are asking. Answer? You aren't. Time to evict. Uh... Anything left in here is mine. That couch, mine. Paint on walls, mine. That old bagel with spread I found in your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Extra <laughs> mine. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we just <laughs> bought ourselves some time. Oh, goodness. What you doing, Tom? Nothing. I've got the day off, and I'm going to enjoy some peace and... Loudness! Huh? Anyone at the theater fears that the singing will be too loud, but fear not, thanks to my new earbags. <laughs> oh. 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 We can test things out at the musical tonight, but we've still got a lot of work to do! Ben, I need this day off. You had a day off last month when you had that fever. I went to the hospital. So you traveled. But Here's a list of stuff to get at the hardware store. Tom, you need to help me buy snacks for the big musical tonight. If you think you're going to the grocery store before you go bow tie shopping. Please! Could everyone stop bugging me for two seconds? All right, I can't even think straight with all tonight, of you. Tonight, we're headed to a musical show, but first as places Tom's got to go. Ginger, please stop making up musical-style songs. We'll get plenty of that tonight, after Tom helps with the ear bag. And the snacks! And the bow tie! Ugh. God, I can't believe it. This is supposed to be my day off. I'm supposed to spend the day with... Ah! Ah! Myself? Ah! Oh. So, you look exactly like me, and your name is also Tom? It's Tim, but close enough. Ugh. How have we not run into each other before? I'm just passing through, you see. I work at the carnival. <gasps> oh, wow. That is the coolest thing I have ever heard. <laughs> what do you do? Ugh. All I do is operate my own tech company and act as manager for my famous singer girlfriend. <laughs> hey, here's a crazy idea. What if... Never mind. Nothing's too crazy when you're talking to a mirror. Mm. <laughs> okay. What if you and me trade lives just for one day? No one would be able to tell us apart, and we'd both get a break from the things we're sick of. Ha! That idea is so brilliant, I wish I came up with it. What are you talking about, Tim? You did come up with that idea. Huh? Oh. Ah, 
Wow, this is really peaceful. <sighs> Except for that roller coaster. Still, I could get used to this. Hey, Ben, I'm almost done with my painting. Once I finish, we can do our next round of tests for the earbags. Wow, thanks. You know, I was afraid you were going to spend the whole day whining about how you needed a day off, but I'm glad I was wrong. <laughs> I got up on the wrong side of the bed this morning, but I feel better now. It's like I'm a whole new me. I guess I'm not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Well, that's a five o'clock coaster. Time to switch back with Tim. Huh. Go ahead, pull it your time. Maybe something different will happen. Oh, good tip. <gasps> ah! The CEO, what are you doing here? Hatching a plan so genius, you didn't even know there was a plan. <laughs> I fooled you, Tom. Fooled yeah. you. I don't understand. I wouldn't even be here if I hadn't met Tim and... Oh, I get it. Tim's a bad guy? He's not a guy. He's a robot. <gasps> Tom impersonation machine? That's right. And now Tim is going to destroy everything you've ever cared about. What? Or better yet, you're going to destroy it because everyone thinks Tim is you. No! Tim, <laughs> make me! Help! What do you think of this tie? Is this bow a no or a go? Ooh, the cast of the musical better watch out or the well-dressed mayor might steal the show. <laughs> it's funny you bring that up because I'm gonna make an announcement before the show begins. Oh, you're pointing out the emergency exits? Oh, I've always wanted to do that. No, I can't tell you what it is, but I can say that it's gonna change everyone's lives. Permanently. Uh, so, how do I <gasps> look? I was going for breathtaking, but I might have stopped at stunning. Angela? You make stunning even better than breathtaking. <laughs> oh, don't do it. Stop being gross! You guys are gonna make us late! Oh, oh man. Ginger, please. Oh. This is going to be a mature evening of art. <laughs> and sophistication. And romance. Y you, what are you doing? Stop! There's no one in the world I'd rather be with than you. No, Angela! You're saying that to someone who isn't me! <laughs> Why? No! <laughs> oh, it's okay, Tom. You have a new life now. You're a carny controlling kitty rides at an amusement park. Wait a minute. You're right. I do control the rides. Wait, what are you doing? Go back to moping. Stop it! I didn't mean to give you an idea when I was talking. I was just mocking you. It's not fair. That's right. It's not fair. It's carnival. <laughs> nice try, CEO. Ha! Get back here, Tom! No! <laughs> Don't look at me. You're not better than me. Shut up! so excited about Tom's big announcement. Maybe it's about me. I hope he's going to announce the town is going to get one of those neat cell towers that look like trees. Welcome to History the Musical. Before the show starts, I want to say something in the most public way I can. My whole life, this town has been my home. Aww. You've seen me grow up. And I never got a chance to tell you that I am so much better than you. I tried to make this place fun, but you guys are just lame. Where's he going with this? And no one is lamer than my boring business partner, Ben. Yeah, that guy, right there. Look at him. I officially announced that we no longer work together. What? Now, let's talk about my girlfriend, Angela. What's going on? 
fun. I try to make it work, but the fact is, you're not as fun as me. You're not as interesting as me, and you are definitely not as pretty as me. That's not true. She's way prettier than you and me. Whoa. Wow. Wait, there's a Tom, and there's a Tom. I don't get it. He's not Tom. He's an imposter. Ah! Ah, no, he's an imposter. Can't you tell? Actually, no. I think that one is Tom. He's just got that Tom vibe, you know? No way. It's that one. Just look at his face. It's all Tom. They're identical. There's no way to tell. Guys, I'm the real Tom. I would never leave you or switch places with someone who looked like me. He is a fake. No, he is. No, he is. No, uh, he is. He is. He is. No, he is. No, uh. Hmm. Oh, Two Toms standing by you. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what is going on? Two Toms on the stage. What are you doing? We thought we watch a musical, but it turned into a weird day. Someone tell me what's going on. We have been making up silly songs about what's been happening in our lives all week. The real Tom would know that. So that means you're the fake. And that one, one is the fake. fake. Plan A, foil. And initiate plan B, self-destruct. Everyone exit the building in an orderly and single file fashion. Head for the nearest emergency exit. Emergency exits are located to the sides and behind you. <laughs> That is the last time I pretend to be anyone other than who I am. You're the only Tom we need. Plus, the other one just exploded. So you're the only one we've got. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. I wonder why my earbags did It's finished. Oh, yeah? Whoa! What is that? The nano laser. A laser so nano you can write your name on the side of an atom. Sounds like another neat invention from good old Tinker and Ben. Oh, oh this is what? much more than just another invention, my huh? friend. It's been a personal dream of mine to make this for huh? years. Now I'm going to show you <gasps> and our viewers uh, 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 how to... No, 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 no. You know, you've been working hard all week. We're taking you to the carnival. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, no, the nano laser is its mm, own nope. reward. <laughs> ah, what are That's you doing? That's it, we're leaving, whether you like it or not. Yeah, huh? But I could hypothetically run more tests. Please. Mm -hmm. Ben? <sighs> well, fine, I've earned this. To the carnival, then! Yeah! Carnival! Carnival! Woo! Carnival! Hey, no one's here. Didn't they know we were going to do a surprise pickup soccer game? Maybe we could have a two-person surprise pickup soccer game. With you? I bet you can't even do a dizzy spin kick. Oh, really?
Okay, we have to call Ben and tell ben? him what we did. No, we can't! Ben worked really hard on this. Please! I broke one of Ben's inventions just last week. And he said if I break anything else, he'll never let me back in the garage. I can't be hello, hello, never hello. let in. Angela? <laughs> hello? Huh. Do you hear me? Okay, fine. Angela. We won't tell Ben. Oh, I think I've had a science breakthrough of my own. Fries taste better when you've had too many of them. Well, that's not science, but I'm not complaining today. Life is just more delicious when you finish the nano laser. Did somebody say nano laser? Uh-oh, Ben. It's your science rivals, Melon Flow. What do you want, Melon Flow? Just to know if what uh, Ben claims to have made is true. We've mastered the macro laser. We've mastered the micro laser. But the nano laser? Oh, that's confounded us for years. Well, don't feel too bad. I'm sure lots of scientists wouldn't be able to figure it out. But I did. <gasps> I carved the likeness of a genius onto the side of an atom. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, very <laughs> good. We owe you a congratulations, fellow scientist. Oh. You've never called me fellow scientist before. Why don't you come with us to the photo booth? We must commemorate your achievements. Go have fun, you crazy science-loving weirdos. <laughs> that looks okay. I really appreciate you doing this for me. Well, this won't fool Ben for long. What? He'll know something is up when he tries to use it and gets glue on his hands. <laughs> we'll cover up our crime. We have to make it look like someone else destroyed it. What? Take that! No! <laughs> hey, guys, you should have been here earlier. You could have gone to the carnival with us. <laughs> yeah, imagine if we had been here earlier, but we weren't. Hey, Ben, you look happy! I'm having a perfect day, all because of the biggest little breakthrough in laser tech yet. The nano laser. Did you want to go that way? Because oh, if way, you want to, uh, you have the, you the right way. I can just Ooh, go that you way. You sure are clumsy. <laughs> um, it's um, almost like you're trying to bump into Ben, <laughs> but that's crazy. <sighs> okay, listen. There's something important we have to tell you. And it's just hmm? that I have to interview the most inspiring adult in my life. You. Really? I don't even know what to say. Let's go to my house, where my school supplies are. Also, because it's not here. Hang on. <laughs> I need to do one thing. Uh, no, uh, Ben, you... Huh? There. Now I'm ready. <laughs> <sighs> Let's get out of here. Finish the job. Aww. It's good that we're not telling Ben the truth. If we did, he'd get mad. And what friend would want to make another friend mad? A bad friend, and I am not a bad friend. Yes, you are, Angela. Ah! Not telling me the truth makes you a liar, and liars are bad friends! <laughs> bad friends! Bad friends! Bad friends! I had really good reasons! I swear! Bad friends! Bad friends! Bad friends! Bad friends! Now, my nano laser has been destroyed. I am so sorry. We were just. How dare someone do this? Wait. If they just broke it and fessed up, that would be one thing. But to do a terrible job trying to fix it, mm -hmm. did they think I wouldn't notice? Did they think I was an idiot? Maybe they were afraid you'd be mad? Don't! Nano, you will be uh, avenged. Uh, no! But wait, Ben! I was gonna say... I'm so sorry. Angela, are you okay? I'm the most 
just not okay ever. I broke Ben's laser. I smashed it when I was doing soccer spin kicks with Ginger. Hey, don't drag me into this. <laughs> I'm the worst friend ever. <laughs> you broke the laser? That can't be because I broke the laser. <laughs> I accidentally snapped off a piece when I was practicing my limbo moves. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Uh-oh. So I had to glue it back on. That's why I took Ben to the carnival. Hang huh? on. I thought it was me who broke it. Oh, <laughs> I used it as an onion ring holder and accidentally melted part of it. I tried to fix it with chocolate. That made it smell better, but didn't solve the problem. That's why I was so happy to go to the carnival with you. And also because, hey, it's the carnival. So we all thought that... <laughs> yeah, we're all guilty. Right. But who does Ben think did this? Hmm. Oh, no. This is not good. Hmm. <laughs> we owe you a congratulations, fellow scientists. I'll give them something to congratulate. <laughs> Come on, run faster! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Macro Laser. It's time to invoke Isaac Newton's bonus law. For every act of science sabotage, there is an act of science revenge! <laughs> no! Ben, stop! Now come! Revenge, stop for no one! Move! It wasn't Mel and Flo who broke your nano laser, Ben! It was you? Yeah, oh. I limboed it and a piece snapped off. I used it as an onion ring holder and a piece melted. And I did a soccer spin kick and all the pieces shattered. <gasps> I did nothing. <laughs> oh, I assumed it was sabotage, but it was just clumsiness. <gasps> uh -oh. uh -oh. The alarm! Someone tripped the alarm. The bed is at you. Oh. Our research! You are going to regret. <gasps> uh oh! Looks like our dishonesty has consequences after all. Uh -huh.